There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Careful, Molly and Max. I'm very busy just at the moment. Oh, wow, what a windy day. This is just the sort of windy day I've been waiting for. Why? To test my paper aeroplane. It's the best one I've ever made. So this time it should fly. <gasps> Where do we sit? <laughs> Sorry, this is a paper aeroplane. It doesn't take passengers. Oh, can't we pretend it's a real plane and sit in it? Just for a moment. Oh, all right. But not for very long. I'm worried about the wind. It feels like a real aeroplane, Flash. Can't we fly it? Certainly not. You have to have a pilot's licence. Now, out your hop before the wind... Hold on. Baby birds. Oh, Flash, they're so cute. It might be a good idea if we were baby birds too. Why? Their mother's here. No idea. Just remember, you're a baby bird. Uh oh. Now look here, bird. There might be a slight misunderstanding. The reason we ended up in your nest is all because of that paper aeroplane. I don't think that bird ever believed I was a baby bird at all. Oh, look! We've been invited for lunch. They must like having guests. We're very honoured. What's for lunch? Blam. Uh, I think I'll pass. Yippee! <laughs> this is what I call flying. Thanks for the lift. And thanks for lunch! You're all back! When I saw you fly through the window on the paper aeroplane, I thought I'd never see you again. A bird flew us back? Yes, and I found out a lot about flying this windy day. And what was that, Flash? Never fly paper aeroplane. Always fly bird. <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Stay clear-headed, but play it smart. Find a double, then we can start. <laughs> <laughs>
a double what? I haven't got any idea. It's a clue on my treasure map. <gasps> a treasure map? <gasps> the Countess has got a treasure map! A treasure map? Did someone say treasure map? I found it in my drawer, but I don't understand the clues at all. Listen. Stay clear-headed, play it smart, find a double, then we can start. Now, what's got a double in the bathroom? That's a tough one. Hmm, I feel like a double when I'm full of water. Max and I are almost doubles, Flash, except he's smaller and I'm... bigger. Oh, then we've got no hope of finding the treasure on the Countess's treasure map. Let's climb up to the mirror so we can see better. This is so exciting, Countess. A treasure hunt. In the old days, we had treasure hunts nearly every day. Mislaid cufflinks, lost silver rings, all the gold and silver you could ever want. Oh, all the gold and silver you could ever want. Now, everyone, look for a double. Stop it, Max. Yes. You won't find a double while you're busy playing with your double. Hey, what did I just say? That's it. There's the clue. We're all doubles. Oh, clever, Max. What next, Candice? Look to the left, look to the right. Now the thing that holds water is plainly in sight. Oh, I can't see anything because the tap is in the way. That's brilliant, Flash. The tap holds lots of water. Oh, we're really good at this. We find the clues without knowing how we found them. Face the place the sun comes through. Take six strides. Good luck to you. Hmm, the sun comes through... the window! OK, stand back. I'm good at strides, especially when they lead to treasure. One stride, two strides, three strides. This is easy. Four strides, five strides. I wonder why it says good luck to you. Six strides. I think we're here. What's the next clue? Don't dilly-dally, don't delay. Look for the arrow that points the way. Quick, help me find the arrow. Not all of you. There's no room for me. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Lucky there was paper. Flash, you found the arrow. Fancy that. Another clue I wasn't even looking for. The arrow's pointing towards the door. Come on. I can't wait to find this treasure. Flash said it was bound to be silver and gold. We'll read the last clue and see. Now you've reached the door, take pride. The treasure you seek is just outside. Just outside? Come on! This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> There's the treasure chest over there! The treasure chest! It's mine! All mine! Flash, we should share it. Oh, all right. A packet of bobby pins! Oh, that's a start, I suppose. What else? That's it! Well, what about the gold and silver? These are like gold and silver to me. A comb should never be without bobby pins. Thank you for helping me find them. Oh, somehow I think we've just been tricked. The Countess knew what she was looking for the whole time. Gold, silver, bobby pins, bah! <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Well, that can go, and that can go, and that... Spring cleaning, Countess! Drawer keeping, Molly. It's amazing what sneaks into your drawer when you're not looking. I think Max wants to help. <gasps> it's good to see the younger generation of toothbrushes are so considerate and helpful. Oh, <laughs> I think Max just wants to throw things down on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Throw that! It 
that's an avocado seed. Plant that in a nice sunny place and you'll end up with an avocado tree. Do you mean there's a whole tree in that little seed? I specifically asked Flash to plant it in the plant box by the shower recess. Why hasn't he? I think he's scared. He muttered something about wild animals. We'll plant it. It's a long trip to the plant box. You'll be away all night. Oh, sounds good to us. We can camp out. What about the wild animals? We're sure there are no wild animals in the plant box, but if there are, we'll make traps. Yes, I suppose it's time you two had an adventure all of your own. You'll have to plant the seed and water it well. Here's a shovel and bucket. Now have a good trip and take plenty of camping gear. This is so exciting, Max. It's good to get away on our own for a change. We're at the plant box already. It's just like a forest in here. Here's a sunny spot, Max. We could plant our avocado seed here. I'll dig the hole while you find some water. Right, avocado seed. It's time you are planted. We want you to grow into the Biggest avocado tree in the whole bathroom. Got the water ready, Max? <laughs> We'd better set up camp, Max. It's going to be dark soon. I'll put up the tent and you can set the dental floss traps in case any of Flash Fluoride's wild animals are around. <laughs> <laughs> Molly! Max! I don't know where they could have got to, Flash. Who oh, have you two lost this time? Molly and Max. We can't find them anywhere. They've gone to plant the avocado seed you promised you'd plant, Flash. All by themselves? They'll be away all night. An overnight stay in the plant box won't hurt anybody. They're old enough to look after themselves. Oh, I'm not sure about that. They're still quite young and the plant box is full of dangerous creatures just waiting to pounce. Name one. Crickets. Some of those crickets can be really ferocious. It's the way they chirp. Perhaps we should check up on them just in case. Oh, all right. We'll creep up undetected. We won't even use the pencil torch. No noise now, Flash. Remember, we're creeping up undetected. Yeah, but I can't see where I'm going. Oh. Hey, I think I found the plant box. Come on. No? Oh, that's just a cricket, Max. I like it out here in the plant box. You're so close to nature. Something big is heading this way. There they are. They're perfectly safe. Good. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's make really sure. <laughs> Susie! Flash! Get us down! <laughs> we thought we heard something big and noisy heading this way. It could have been a wild animal. It's dangerous in the plant box. That's why we set our trap. A trap? Neat! So you're quite fine by yourselves. Uh-huh. But now you're here, why don't you stay the night? As long as there are no ferocious crickets. <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Combe. They travel the world, but they seldom go out well. How can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Did you hear that, Max? Yeah. I wonder what it is. They're tap dancing shoes. Tap dancing shoes? Sometimes when the night is still and the moon is bright, Tap dancing shoes tap till dawn. It's a well-known fact. Wow! Or it could just be something tapping in the breeze. See, the story could be true. Then let's find out for sure. But be very quiet. Tap dancing shoes are very shy. The Countess and her stories. Now, no pushing or shoving. It's very crowded on the throne with all of us. I saw one! Let me see! See? 
I was right. Remember, no pushing or shoving. It's too crowded. <laughs> Is everyone all right? In the future, we should have a rule. No crowding on the throne. Well, at least all the crowding got us down here. Now we can see the tap dancing shoes properly. If they exist. We won't have to wait long. Here comes one now. Wow! And here comes another one. They do exist after all. But the Countess is wrong about one thing. What? They're not shy. They're wild. <laughs> Let's confuse them. We'll split up. We're safe. But trapped. We'll never escape from this laundry basket while the dancing shoes are around. We have to stop them dancing. It's the only way. Look, Flash, the shoelace is loose. Maybe we could round up a tap dancing shoe for a change. Good idea, Molly. Somebody grab the shoelace. Somebody grab Max. Somebody grab me. We stopped one. Where's the other one? Here it comes! Looks like the other shoe misses its friend. This is our chance to escape. Come on! Come on, Molly. It's not far to go now. We'll have to untie it, Flash. But they've already rounded us up once and I certainly don't want to be rounded up again. Dancing shoes are meant to dance. Listen. Without its friend, it can't dance at all. Without its friend, it can't round us up either. Perhaps we should vote. Raise your hand if you agree with Flash that we should leave the dancing shoe tied up so we don't get rounded up. <laughs> I'm voting for his plan. <laughs> and who agrees with Molly that we should let the dancing shoes dance because that's what dancing shoes do? I like Molly's plan, too. Can we vote twice? All right. We'll untie the shoe, but they have to promise they won't round us up. Hooray! Now, listen here, Dancing Shoe. We'll untie your friend as long as you agree not to round us up. Dancing, yes. Rounding up, no. Do we have a deal? We've got a deal. Release the tap dancing shoe. That sounds much better. Uh-oh. You know what? What? I don't think the dancing shoes understood a word I said. They're going to round us up. Run! Oh! Look, they're dancing. We've got the perfect view from here. Yeah, no pushing or shoving. I don't want to be rounded up ever again. It's downright humiliating. <laughs> oh. <laughs>